Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about improving your flying and what I suggest for doing that. And I'm gonna kind of do it with some examples. So I've had several people mention they like my flying, wish they could fly this way or whatever. So I wanna talk a little bit about um, improving and what you can do to improve. So the biggest thing that you can do to improve isn't necessarily learning tricks, although tricks are good. The biggest thing you can do to learn to improve is learn how to fly close to things. And the best way to do that is by flying close to the ground and practicing staying close to the ground when you're flying. And then when you come around objects, stay as close to those objects as you can. So, for instance, when you kind of come up, just barely clear something, you know. As soon as you're clear of it, let off the throttle. Stay, uh, stay close to things. It looks way better if you are close to something than if you are a long ways away from it whenever you're doing tricks and whatnot. Um, even if you're going slow, it looks better being right next to something like that than it does to be, you know, a long ways away from it. That tree needs to be trimmed. Couldn't get, couldn't fit through there. So yeah, it's way better to be, you know, close to stuff than to be at a distance. That's probably the biggest thing to improve your flying is learn how to be close to stuff and just do that by first flying close to the ground. And then the next thing you want to do is learn to fly close to stuff, your gaps and stuff, like that's a nice gap to do that with. And then you can start incorporating some tricks. And you don't need fancy tricks really to to make your videos interesting. You can do simple stuff. You know, just a simple yaw spin for instance can look cool when you like come at something and then pull away from it and then come back towards something again. Looks much cooler than like, you know, then like up here, that's all right, but it's not nearly as cool. And when you're at close to something, you know. But coming towards something then flicking away from it, it's kind of cool. And you don't need a lot of throttle. You don't need to uh, like really hit the throttle hard. Little blips here and there and you know, just be light on the, the throttle. Just enough to do your maneuver that you want to do. Um, that's, that is key to making something interesting. Like this isn't, I mean, all that interesting, but being close to stuff definitely makes it way more interesting than if I was out, you know, away from stuff. Being a lot closer to objects. And particularly if you get out in the open like this, you definitely want to be like close to the ground. You don't want to be like, up in the air when you're way out in the middle of nowhere. Um, it's definitely not as not as interesting if you're out in the open and you're up a little bit. So for instance, like we're up this way, I gotta land here. That's okay, but it's much cooler if you're down here. See how much of a difference that makes? Just being close to the ground is way better. And my battery's about had it. It's not happening. me. Okay, so we've been practicing and you're getting good at flying close to the ground, sticking close to the objects, you know, doing like simple maneuvers, right? You're doing that kind of stuff and just, you know, nothing super fancy. Um, so you don't need to do anything fancy. The next goal to improve your flying is to do the same thing, but 
increase your speed. So start to do stuff at a higher, higher throttle. Not so much that you are out of your comfort zone. But increase it to where it gets to be even more intriguing, right? When you're flying on the ground, you want to increase your throttle. I got a little too far out that way. I got a little too far away from stuff. So now we're going to bring it back in here. Cruise this thing down a little here. And just increase the throttle. See, I got a little too much air time there on that maneuver. And so I kind of lost the interest there for a brief second. Are you stepping on? Woo! That was a little too close, maybe, to that uh, handicap sign there. You know. But you start increasing your speed flying through gaps and stuff, you know, and eventually you're going to get to where you can do tricks through the gaps at high speed. And then it gets to be really interesting. Then that's when you really start breaking stuff. But yeah, so you just want to Next thing is just increasing your speed a little bit. And then you don't need to get like faster and faster. Just, just a little bit. Just enough to where it's a little more, you know, interesting. As you kind of cruise along through the ground and stuff, you know. I mean, it gets to be, just simple stuff flying through gas and stuff gets to be way more interesting when you are low to the ground and flying like really fast. All right, so this battery is starting to get a little low. Better land. Don't want to kill my batteries. But yeah, see how much more interesting it is when you get down low, low to the ground. Through the grass. All right, let's kind of see. Before I kill the battery again. <laughs> All right, so then we've worked on flying closer to things and maintaining being closer to stuff, closer to the ground, closer to objects that you're maneuvering around, maneuvering through, that sort of thing. Then you've worked on increasing your speed a little bit. The last part of stuff is something that's really hard to teach. And I'm no expert, but I think I've got a pretty good grip on doing it. So the last thing is learning how to kind of flow through an environment. And the key with Flowing through the environment, once you get those first two things down, it becomes a lot easier to flow through an environment and link up, you know, obstacles and tricks through the obstacles and that sort of thing than um, if you're like way too high off the ground. It's way easier to link stuff together and find things to maneuver around, through, that kind of thing when you are low to the ground, close to stuff, than if you're way up in the air. And it takes the viewer by surprise when you do that kind of thing versus um, being like up in the air where they can see everything coming or you might see everything coming. You know, um, you just have to learn how to keep moving. That's a big key to it. Learn how not to be on the throttle for a ways and use just the roll and pitch and yaw, not throttle so much, to kind of point your quad kind of where you want to go and keep it moving while you're doing that. Because as long as you've got some forward movement, it's much more interesting than if you kind of stall out. When you stall out, it's not nearly as interesting, unless that was your intent. So, like, you know, 
I was kind of a little bit of a stall there, but I kept it moving even with that stall, looking kind of up in the air at the sunset. Oh, ouch, right into a sign there. Pay attention to the sunset. Oh, I stuck. Ah, I'm stuck on some grass. Let me go get it. And you're going to crash. Get used to doing that. Actually, I need to raise my camera lens up just a little. All right. So, yeah, so you want to work on flowing through the environment. Because that's the key. Is once you're down low, you're not like um, like real far away from stuff. You can kind of flow through things. <laughs> and you can kind of stall even like I did there with that light, that uh, light pole, with that uh, flagpole. I guess I got one more tip actually that I want to talk about. I've kind of alluded to it. And I'm going to land and we will talk about just one other last little thing that I kind of want to cover for Stacy's guide to improving your flying. See how that much there that looks when you get close to stuff? Ooh. Maybe not that close to the grass, but close. All right. One more tip. And now, the final tip for improving your flying. This is my opinion. I'm sure some will disagree. Some will have more ideas than what I present, and that's great. Present those down in the comments, and we'll add those to the things to remember that makes your flying interesting. So you got this flying close to stuff, right? Then you've worked on increasing your speed. Woo! And getting really close to poles and lights and stuff like that. Maybe not quite that close. At least, not unless you were intentionally doing it. Um, then we worked on kind of flowing around stuff and keeping forward momentum while you're you're flying. You always want to kind of keep going forward if you can. You don't want to stall out unless the stall was your absolute intention. It's got like part of the the trick, right? Because otherwise, it's not all that interesting. The last thing that you want to do, and I kind of done those, I've done them here and there with this stuff, but it is to, you know, do something kind of unexpected like that. You know, I've been doing a lot of those things flying between them or flying like over them. And then, you know, we just kind of out of, you know, we're just kind of cruising along, you know, and, and all of a sudden, you know, we incorporate a couple of those juicy flicks and reverse juicy flicks. Or we do that there where we don't switch direction, we just kind of keep that roll going, you know. Or we reverse it, you know, out of nowhere. Those kind of little... Ooh, yeah, there we go, that's close. Not intentional though. Oh, that was something unexpected into the bush <laughs> all right let me go retrieve this thing okay let's see where i'm at here you hear it? Aha, i like these kind when i'm not high very nice Aha. so we got four basic things to do to improve you're flying and none of these are earth shattering or groundbreaking and you probably heard them countless times but you know figured i would make some suggestions on the way that i see people can improve and make drastic improvements to their flying and particularly with like videos if you want to share you know there's maybe a different way of going if you're wanting to learn certain tricks or whatever but if you want to improve your overall flying your overall control your overall presentation and enjoyment for people to watch your videos. I think these four things are, are pretty good for doing that. Now I'm by no means an expert. You know, there's other things that you can do. You definitely need to incorporate some variety 
um, into your stuff. Um, whatever tricks you do with yaws, with rolls, work on doing them in both directions. In particular, work on doing them in both directions in single flights. Try not to do the same direction all the time. I'm really bad about doing that. Just had a comment the other day. Oh, yay, another left roll or oh, another right roll or whatever it was. I don't remember. But anyways, I'm like, yeah, thanks for noticing. Yeah, I know. I'm well aware of uh, my tendency to do tricks in one direction all the time. And uh, then I had a comment, you know, he's like, do you ever get bored doing the same tricks? Didn't no hate, no hate, no hate. Yeah, okay, whatever, buddy. I know I'm bad about doing the same stuff. But really, I think you can make enjoyable flights doing very basic stuff. If you fly close to the ground, I'm guilty of not doing that enough, do it more. Staying close to objects when you're doing that, again, so you stay close to the ground, close to objects, you're moving around. I'm guilty of not doing that sometimes. I'm working on getting better at it. I think I've gotten a lot better here over the last few months. Um, that's key. Uh, work on increasing your speed when you're doing those things. So flying close to the ground, close to objects, you know, increasing your speed, um, key. Just don't overdo your speed. You don't need to go super fast, but just faster. Um, work on some of the um, unexpected things. So, you know, if you've been doing something, do something unexpected between a gap or something. Catch your audience a little bit off guard. People love that stuff. And just don't do it. Don't, don't overdo it. If you overdo it, then it becomes not enjoyable to watch. It becomes kind of spastic. But if you do it, just pepper it here and there then it's just exactly what you need. So there's my tips. And uh, with that, I'm going to leave you guys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this, and uh, never stop flying, guys. See ya.